What's up, people? Soapbox Monday. So, today has been super, super, super long day. The reason why, and I'll explain it to you guys, is that, so our office, Tanya Medical Center, is located, we just got home too, by the way. Everybody say hi to John. I do this to him every time. Hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I just got home. See, guys, look. See, this is what happens. You still have your sneakers on, okay? So, anyways... Um, so I realized today, okay, that we need to invest in a Titan plane, okay? The reason why we need a plane is so that if there's ever a place that we can't get to by a car, that we can get there by a plane, okay? Little did I realize when we bought this five-year lease to this wonderful place that we are at today is that there is a bridge that goes in and a bridge that goes out. And it literally, you can only get there by the bridges. Unfortunately, this morning, there was a very, very, very horrible accident. I don't know all the details, to be honest with you. What, 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 what kind of, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was a dump truck. Yeah. It was a dump truck that, you know, went straight on to, I don't know how people the get into the yeah. oncoming traffic, like how they end up on the other side of the road. Like, I don't even understand how that happens. I mean, I've tried to scenario that like a hundred times in my head, but it just doesn't make any sense. So anyways, what's up, Dr. Teddy? Anyways, I had to call you out on here just because, but it was closed on both sides. It's called the Courtney Campbell. And you literally, I mean, we got to, we're on our way to work. You know, we had a, we even have a meeting at 12 o'clock today on our way to work. We're literally getting off the highway. Boom. We hit it right there. They're redirecting everybody. So I'm like, okay, there's definitely more than one way to skin a cat here. So we decided to go all the way around. Now, granted, remember guys, we live like on a normal person drive, like 40 minutes away, right? On a me person drive, like 20 minutes away. So anyways, it's still a 20 minute, 25 minute drive. So we get down there and now it's like, okay, I have to redirect me and go all the way around the entire ocean to St. Petersburg. Okay. And go that route just to come to find out that that route was also closed. So I was like, are you guys telling me that I can't get to my office? <laughs> so me and John are freaking out because we can't get to the office and of course I want to get to the office it's Monday and I need to be at the office not to mention that Megan comes in you know a little bit later on Mondays so she can't get to the office so of course I call the office and I tell the office I'm like listen people none of you guys are allowed to leave the office for lunch if you need me to buy you lunch I'll buy you lunch do not go anywhere you will not be able to get back to the office come to find out that the bridge is going to be closed for four and a half hours a long four and a half hours. Now I had to decipher at this point, did I want to go home all the way home and then drive all the way back? Or did I want to hang out in my car and do work and then, you know, finally make it to the office? Anyways, long story short, my day has been a very long day in the vehicle, but I'm getting on here to specifically talk about one thing that I definitely think everybody needs to know about. And that's simply about driving properly like I don't know I I went over this like a hundred times and I'll continue to go over it over and over and over again because of the things I've been through personally but I get it like we text and we've got Facebook and Instagram and text messages are coming through a phone call I don't think is nearly as bad because you're on the phone or you might be on like your Bluetooth or something you can still have both hands on the v like on the wheel not maybe paying attention 100% but you know you're still paying attention to some degree and if you need to make a swift decision you're able to do so. Anyways, this like 2019 age, everybody is texting and driving and ultimately it's leading to car accidents. I mean, there is somebody in my office that's been in a car accident two weeks ago and then another one today. I mean, and she's, I mean, she's never, ever been in a car accident. That's got to tell you something, right? I mean, that's not normal to, to, to have like just car accidents happening left and right. Today, when we all got redirected to these hundred different places, of course, there's literally a car accident like every five miles because you have a bunch of idiots trying to get someplace and they're, they're like determined to get there. So I'm just curious to know, you know, while I have you guys on here, yes, March 22nd, um, yeah, 100%. So listen, I just want to know, like, where did all the old school values go, you know, as far as, you know, 10 to, and I'm not saying 10 to because usually I drive with one hand, but I do have the other hand available, okay? The other thing is if you're going 70 miles per hour, 
you should have how many cars in between you and the car in front of you? Can anybody answer that for me? Anybody? Mr. Jerome, I'm talking about the uh, huge accident that took place on the Courtney Campbell today. I'm sure that you probably heard about it if you weren't there. So, I mean, if you're going 70 miles per hour, there should be seven cars in between you. If you're going 60 miles per hour, there should be six cars in between you and so forth. So, why somebody's riding other people's asses is totally like, I don't even know. I know a lot of people that actually do it and it's not smart because somebody brake checks your ass, you are going to slam into the back of their car. That is a fact. So texting law took effect July 1st. Thank goodness. You know, me and John have actually had this conversation about the, this texting law and, you know, it's kind of shitty because, I mean, I guess if you're on the phone switching like a music station or your playlist or whatever, you could be taken as texting. But at this point, honestly, guys, I've been in two car accidents, two, with people that were texting and driving. And the one car accident, the very first one I was in, it was by a doctor that was on call and he hit me going 50 miles or like 45 miles per hour in a parking lot. And he totaled my Cadillac and I had a partial dislocation of my jaw, a partial dislocation of my shoulder, and I couldn't go back to work. Now, granted, that is the time frame that we stumbled across Titan Medical. So I can't ever say that not everything happens for a reason, because obviously that happened for a reason. I mean, I can't say I went through a lot of good things because of it, but I mean, guys, just stay off your freaking phones. Like the, the amount of people that do not know how to drive just become more and more every day like a lot I just don't understand the way that they're cutting people off and the way that they're I just I don't get it guys I mean I, I just don't understand and honestly like I'm I definitely I will admit I am an angry driver okay so I, I that is why I do not drive the wrapped vehicles and John drives the wrapped vehicles because he's much more calm and patient than me because if I drive the rap vehicles and somebody cuts me off, there's something, some hands are going out the window, okay? And it's not to give them a thumbs up, okay? So anyways, I think it's really important that you guys know that you got to take the safety while you're driving. It's, and I am a speed racer, yes, Anthony. I do have a gas foot here, you know, a little lead foot, but at least I'm paying attention to the road when I'm driving, you know, so that I don't slam into the back of somebody. Because think about it, anything can happen in two seconds. You guys have to remember that. Anything can happen in two seconds. Boom, done, you're dead in a car. I mean, especially John. I mean, he's driving in a Corvette. I told him there's not much room for you to make a mistake because if somebody hits you, you might be fairly injured, okay? So just, you know, follow the, the normal stuff that you learn when you're a kid, when you get your permit or whatever. Just follow those easy things. We're not win bumper cars. Get off your damn phone. It really makes me upset. I mean, it's bad enough that when we were growing up, okay, because, I mean, I was born in 86. So when we were growing up, okay, a lot of us would eat while we're driving, right? So well, me at the time, I'm eating McDonald's while I'm driving. Or... Maybe I was putting on some eyeliner while I was driving. Now you have people that are eating. They are putting on makeup. They are reading articles in the news, flipping through their Facebook, flipping through their Instagram, looking at all the cool pictures as they sideswipe a vehicle. I mean, it's the stupidest shit ever. So please, everybody, just stay off your phones. It's not that important. I mean... I'm really happy that this text law went into place because honestly, it'll probably save a lot of people's lives. There's a lot of people that I know that have been hit by people that were texting and driving and not paying attention. And obviously, I'm not saying accidents don't happen because accidents happen, okay? But I think a lot of accidents could probably be avoided if you were paying 100% attention to the road. I mean, think about how many accidents. I'm sure you guys on here have been in an accident or two. Think about how many accidents that probably could have been avoided if you were paying 100% attention to the road. So just, you know, just please, guys, just just please stay off your phones. I think that a lot of people will, you know, appreciate that. And I think you might save yourself maybe a ticket or possibly even your life or someone else's life, you know. So anyways, that's my little fury for the day. Um, we won't talk about how back in the day, you know, back in the day you could do anything. You know, there wasn't phones, obviously, but you could literally do anything and get away with a whole lot more than you do now with like, you know, all the cameras you have on every single, you know, 
every single street. So, I mean, pay attention to what you guys are doing. It's important. I want to make sure you guys know that because it's super, super important. Not to mention, my 40-minute drive to work today turned to a five-and-a-half-hour drive. That sucked. Not fun. Just got home. Anyways, guys, John looks like he could use some sleep. So I'm going to let him sleep while I uh, go get some dinner. I'll probably heat him up a plate, you know, because I'm a nice wife like that. And uh, finish my work for the night because that's what I do. And I hope everybody has a wonderful night and stays the hell off their phone, okay? Get your playlist ready when you get in. Turn on your car and ride, okay? It's not that, it's not that, it's not that complicated. Don't make it more complicated than what it really is. Because you might run into someone like me that if you sideswipe my car or you tap the back of my vehicle, we're going to have a very serious argument. Okay? Awesome. All right, guys. Have a good night. Anthony, have a good night. Tina, have a good night. Hope all you guys had a wonderful Monday. And I'll talk to you guys soon. And see ya.